Now we're going to hear a short message from Senator Kristen Sinema of Arizona. As Chairwoman of Aviation Safety, Operations, and Innovation Subcommittee, she is in the center of critical debates and decisions about issues of great concern to all of us. She's a lot to juggle on the Homeland Security and Government Affairs Committee, as well as the Banking, Housing, and Urban Affairs Committee, and the Veteran Affairs Committee. You may have seen her name in the newspapers from time to time as well. She's been a leader for Arizona since first being elected as a state representative in 2005, and now we'll hear from Senator Semina. Hello everyone, I'm Arizona Senior Senator Kirsten Sinema. I'm so excited to speak with you all at the 2022 Regional Airline Association Leaders Conference today. As you all may remember, during the pandemic, I was honored to join you at last year's Leaders Conference to discuss the RAA priorities I helped secure in our coronavirus relief package, the CARES Act. But that was before we signed our once in a generation infrastructure bill into law and before we experienced many of the aviation challenges of post-pandemic recovery. So we have much to discuss. I take seriously my responsibility as the Aviation Subcommittee Chair to protect and strengthen the economic success and competitiveness of the regional aviation industry across our nation, which is why when I wrote and negotiated our monumental bipartisan infrastructure investment and jobs law, I ensured robust investments in our aviation infrastructure and that every single airport in the country would get the upgrades they need to be successful, even smaller regional airports. As the chair of the Senate Aviation Subcommittee, I was pleased to deliver crucial aviation investments improving airport and airline efficiency, enhancing passenger safety and experience, and of course, expanding economic opportunities. The investments our law makes will help provide critical upgrades to runways and taxis, safety improvements, and will help complete terminal development noise mitigation, and multimodal transportation projects. And we secured $5 billion in grants for building and strengthening air traffic control towers and other ATC infrastructure across the country, many of which are decades old and require upgrades to house new equipment to better keep American travelers safe. Since we signed our landmark legislation into law, I've been visiting airports across Arizona, like Prescott Regional, Phoenix Sky Harbor, Mesa Gateway, Tucson International, Safford Regional, and more to discuss the impacts these transformative funds will have on passenger safety and experience, airport efficiency, and economic competitiveness. I don't need to remind you how challenging the pandemic was for the aviation industry, especially regional airlines. But I also recognize the challenges you faced as the air travel has rebounded from the pandemic. As you know, I held a hearing in the Senate Aviation Subcommittee earlier this year on the state of the aviation workforce, including pilot supply. I was pleased to have one of your members, Mesa Air, testify at that hearing to share the ongoing challenges with staffing. I appreciate the input from groups like yours to hear how we can advance policies that allow RAA carriers to grow and thrive. Looking ahead, I pledge to continue bringing colleagues together in search of common ground and real tangible solutions to the issues that matter most. One of my biggest upcoming priorities is a bipartisan reauthorization of the Federal Aviation Administration, and I'm looking forward to using the invaluable input we've received from groups like yours to ensure the reauthorization addresses the key challenges facing the aviation industry today. I'll work as always with folks on both sides of the aisle to get this done in the most efficient and effective way possible. In the meantime, we have a productive and enjoyable leaders conference and thank you for the work you all do for our nation's aviation industry. Thanks for having me. Those were some, some very thoughtful comments from the Senator. Uh, we appreciate her leadership and support for our industry and for taking time to provide remarks for our brief today.